Welcome to Home House. Today we have three dogs from the same owner. Uh, one is already done. And now it's time for the second one. It's time for transformation, shaving, bathing, whole package. Let's go. I will remind you what their story is. One man contacted us. He said his neighbor had neglected the dogs and sent me photos. We immediately arranged a grooming treatment. Bunny picked up the dogs, brought them to the salon and gave me the information about the dogs he got from that man. For example, which dog has puppies and when, how old they are, he knows their names and so on. He even knew how much the dogs were paid. It was full of information. Suddenly, one thought crosses our minds. That man is the real owner of these dogs. Of course, the first impulse was not to return the dogs to him. We fantasized about stealing them from that man and adopting them. But in our country, such a thing would be defined as a criminal act. We have no organizations or laws that protect dogs from people like him. We had to return them to the owner but we talked to him for a long time, after which we made a deal. He will regularly bring the dogs for grooming treatment because it will be free of charge. Well, that's the only thing we can do. Owner's education and lifetime free dog treatments. Again, extreme measures. This hair is ideal for blunting scissors and machine blades because it's soft and thick at the same time. That happens because this sweet doggy is a mixed breed. Her coat is black and white with big and small spots. Also, it combines long and straight hair on the tail like Shih Tzu, but curly and matted on the legs like a poodle. All this makes grooming and hair maintenance complicated. Overall, while mixed breed dogs offer a unique blend of traits and personalities, their diverse genetic backgrounds can make grooming and maintenance more complicated compared to pure breed dogs with more predictable coat types. However, with patience and consistency, Owners can ensure the mixed breed dog's coat remain healthy and look their best. Let's get back to this beautiful dog. I have more work before batting, but it will be over soon. Taking off all that hair before batting is essential because I want to avoid washing matted and muddy fur. See how matted and dirty it is. not used to the grooming treatment, so two of us have to work with her simultaneously. Jana holds her while I shave. It's the safest way, because I can injure her with the clipper if she suddenly moves. She's too afraid of clipper sound, so I must use scissors instead.
Finally, in this case, water and foam are an essential part of healing. Drying is also crucial because wet skin and hair are a surface for developing microorganisms. That is usually the case, especially when the skin has been neglected and covered with matted fur for a long time. Clipper one more time. We want excellent and smooth haircut. And if you need help with your dog's hair maintenance at home, let me help you. I write blogs about pets on our website petgroomhouse.com. There you can learn a lot, not just about grooming, but also about pet food, behaviorism, health and so on. I invite you to check it out occasionally because I publish new articles every week. Also, I invite you to check out our new YouTube channel, Groom House Beauty. There you can watch lovely hairstyles and cute dogs. The videos are short and cute. You will like it. You are helping us save these poor and neglected dogs by watching, commenting and sharing our videos. Thank you so much in the name of those who voices we represent. And that's it, we are done with this dog. She was uh, pretty much complicated, complicated and uh, my wife was great with her and our assistant also. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's time for the third one. And uh, the first one is done. You can watch that now. That video you can watch in our previous video and in the next video will be this one, the third dog. One is done, three more to go. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye!